Hello children. Today in this video, we will learn to do subtraction without borrowing. Today, Gaffy and Zoe are planning a birthday party. Gaffy, do you know that next week is our friend Scrabby's birthday? Oh wow! Let's prepare a fun party for her birthday. Yes, Gaffy, it will be fun. But we need money for the birthday party. I have some money in my piggy bank. We can use it and give a wonderful party on her birthday. I have ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, and eighty rupees in my piggy bank. Come, let's buy balloons first. Both buy balloons. Worth rupees twenty from a balloon shop. How much money do we have left now? Let's find out using subtraction. Eighty minus twenty is equal to. First, we will subtract the numbers written in the units place. Zero minus zero equals zero. We need to write here like this below the units place. Yay! Now let's subtract the numbers in tens place. 8 minus 2 becomes 6. We can write it here below the tens part in this way. Wow, Gaffy, we can still have 60 rupees left. Yes, that would be enough for a birthday party. Gaffy and Zoe went to a bakery to buy some snacks for the birthday party. There, they bought sandwiches and cakes worth rupees 40. Children. Can you tell how much money Gaffy and Zoe have left now? To find the answer, let's write both the numbers in the form of vertical subtraction like this. First of all, we subtract the numbers written in the units place. Zero minus zero is zero. Write it here in the units place. Now we subtract the numbers written in tens part. Six minus four becomes two. We will write here below the tens part in this way. Children, now it's your turn to solve this question. Croak had eighty-eight ladoos. He ate forty-five ladoos. How many ladoos are left with Croak now? Children, find the answer to this question and share it with your friends and family. In this video, we learn to do subtraction without borrowing for numbers. Up to ninety nine.